I was a kid and I've had like two passions. One of them was I really really wanted to go to NASA. You know NASA like the rocket making organization, government organization you say. And the other one's like I really wanted to make music. My dad told me like hey if you want to do music you should get a job. And I stayed home while my friends were partying. I was like at home studying or like reviewing my shit. I um, started checking for like scholarships abroad because in Peru there's not a really good university that has you know that has a aerospace engineering major. I decided like maybe I should try Korea and then I applied for a scholarship to Korea and I got it. I applied to KAIS, Busan National University and Seoul National University. KAIS was so far away, it's like a day job so I decided what's better than Seoul National University. It's just so difficult you know studying like Fluid dynamics and solid mechanics for four years and a half. It took me long to drive. These Korean kids, they study so much. I mean, they've been in high school studying from like 8 a.m. in the morning until 11 p.m. in the night every day. And then I just go off one year of studying Korean and nothing else. I was busy, I was trying to catch up in my second year. It was really hard at first to like catch up with all the stuff I have been missing. So there was um, the school festivals. I was already drunk, now I was going to escape, now I was going home. Passing this group of people sitting on the floor and then one of them comments was like, hey, come over, sit down, they're all Korean. So I just sat down and then I started, I started talking to them. And I'm thinking of starting a band, like, you know, I like a lot of music. Oh, I was in a band like a year ago, but it like broke up. So if you want, we can like, you know, get together. So like, yeah, why not? After two weeks, we got together in my place and then we started like putting together some stuff. And that's how the band started. We didn't really choose blues, but I had like a rock and roll background since I was 15. When it comes to writing our songs, we when we started, we started doing on, on nature, like a lot on like Korean nature, like Korean countryside inspired. As you can see, this is our logo at the moment, and it's uh, this is shenanigans in Hungary. This is Jitisan. Now we're starting to drift into a more Korean history. Uh, for example, like first single we released it, uh, some time ago is called Doma, and that's the name of a Korean national hero called An Jung Kun. And taking from that, we started to think maybe we should start making music with like a cultural value. You know, we released our second single called Chung Nyan Lee about Chung Nyan Lee, that area here in Seoul. It was a temple, a Buddhist temple, so we wrote that thinking about it. I think Korea, yeah, mainstream music has got a really, really like accidented journey, you know, back in the 70s, 60s. Even before that, Throat, which was like this very slow morning blues like music, was mainstream after, you know, the Japanese occupation. And then it drifted into folk, rock, like Shin Chun Hyun, rock and roll, like proto rock and roll music. But then that was up till the late. 80s, like rock and roll never got a chance to be a, to be a change force, to be a like a cultural breaking point, like you know Britain or like America, you know, where like rock and roll was a movement, was like standing against tradition. So in some way we're trying to take that, you know, we're trying to bring real Korea out, not to say traditional, but bring out the real essence, you know, of this country. Music. Like you have, what drives you is a melody in the rhythm, and like, oh, you know, it makes you feel good, it makes you feel like you want to jump, you want to dance. There's nothing wrong with that. But at some point, it gets like it becomes a routine, you know. That never happens with 
music with Essence. Um, we traveled around Korea for a while, just playing in the street, and it was great. It was a great experience. We started writing music. Uh, in the beginning, when we were just Hans and I, we actually performed the streets, like not only in Seoul but outside Seoul a lot. We started sending emails and calling places, live clubs, and after a while, they started calling us and calling us. And That's when we started playing like in Honda area and Shinchon area. And in, probably my first advice would be practice a lot. Uh, because you know if you don't practice you never really get far. Second advice would be like make sure you never lose your goal. The third one is make connections. Everything.